Car Engines, Part 1, an intro for kids from Sanger Academy. Cars are cool. Cars are fast. What makes a car go fast is its engine. Engines are very complicated, but let's have a look anyway, shall we? The engine is this. You can call it a motor, but it's better to call it an engine. Motor usually means a smaller part, a part that runs just on electricity. So here is a motor, and here is a look inside a motor. I'm going to trace energy as it goes through an engine. Starting with the chemical energy in gasoline, and the electrical energy in the car's battery, and ending up with the car's movement. Movement energy is called kinetic energy. Now, I'm going to explain what different parts of car engines do. But first, I want to explain the words for the little parts of an engine. Screws hold a smaller thing onto a bigger thing. Bolts work with nuts to hold things firmly together. The nut keeps the bolt from coming off. Gears work together to move each other. Chains work with gears the same way, but over a longer distance. You probably know that bicycles have gears and chains. Cars do too. Belts act like chains, but they are made out of more bendable materials, like rubber. Gaskets act to join whole parts together without any gaps. Ball bearings are parts made of collections of little metal balls. that help heavy spinning things like wheels to move smoothly. All these little parts can be found throughout an engine. The engine is held together by three big pieces. The cylinder head is on the top, Underneath that is the cylinder block, and on the bottom is the crankcase. In most cars today, this is part of the cylinder block. Put together, these three big tough parts are called the engine block. They are the engine's skeleton. So, what parts are in there, and what are they doing? To answer that, first you have to know that car engines use gasoline. British people call it petrol, and sometimes we say fuel. Also air, and sparks of electricity from spark plugs. The sparks make the gasoline burn quickly with little explosions, which move a very important part of the engine called the pistons. The pistons move up and down very fast, many times per second. This video is really slowed down. It actually moves a lot faster. 
the pistons move up and down inside very tight places called cylinders. which live inside the cylinder block. Remember that? It's part of that big three-part engine block. The pistons move. The movement of the pistons is what moves the car. It's very cool. The explosions that move the pistons are caused by fast-burning gasoline. Burning is called combustion, and of course this combustion happens inside or internal to an engine. That's why a car engine is an internal combustion engine. It's burning on the inside. The end. Want to know what gets the pistons moving? Check out part two.